Epic Games have just changed the Fortnite zones yet again after changing them at the start of the season. And this actually impacts every single playlist equally. So let me tell you how it works because it is quite confusing. If you haven't watched my previous video on the zones, I'll give you a quick recap. Rather than nine zones, there are now 12. Zones one through to five are regular shrinking zones, but they're a little bit larger than previously. Zones six, seven, and eight are partials where they're always going to spawn around the outside of one of the previous zones. And then zones nine, 10, 11, and 12 are moving zones. And one of the biggest issues this is causing is that because the end games are shorter, there's more players alive when that final zone closes, which means it doesn't necessarily become how good are you at end game. It becomes a game of how many heals do you have in your inventory and how can you beat storm sickness, which isn't very skillful. It's not just the zones that are causing this. The kinetic blades combined with a lot of the healing items are meaning that there's a ton of players left alive once that final moving zone is closed. Not very competitive. So it seems like changes are being made and let's go through that right now. So there's two major changes that they've made. The first is the later storm circles, aka the moving zone have been adjusted in their timings. And then they've also added dynamic storm circles. So with the help of knocking from Fortnite replay.info, have all the deets for you. So let's first look at the late game adjustments that they've done. Essentially from zones 8, 9, 10, and 11, there's been a little bit of extra time added, either 10 seconds or five, as you can see on screen. So there's been 35 seconds added to end game, which might not seem that significant, but this is actually a 20% increase in time, which means that more players will die off, hopefully. Looking at game Games, it is still going down to heal off though because there are other problems. But what is the dynamic zones? This is what people are really interested in. So what this means is essentially if a player count drops below a specific number, which we're calling the player cap, then the next zone will be made shorter. On screen, you can see a list of the player caps. So you can see there's a wait time and a shrink time for each zone. And these are adjusted from the second to seventh zones. So all the way through the mid game, these zones will be made shorter if there's not enough players alive. Let's take the second zone as an example. You can see I'm in an arena the game right now and there's currently less than 50 players and we're in the first zone so before that second zone appears i know this is complicated if there's below 50 players rather than waiting one minute 30 as it normally is it's going to be one minute and you can see in game it's about to change zone two and it's one minute i'd have liked to have footage of more but this guy pushed me while i was sitting in a bush trying to record this and i died we can see the full table on screen right now of the player caps and the zones which will be impacted if the player caps are met for all of the second to seventh zone this is actually going to remove 180 seconds or three minutes of gameplay from the mid game. So for competitive, there's actually probably a minor amount of impact this is going to have because games often are not this dead. However, this will be impactful when it comes to playing pubs and zero build because the games will most likely be much faster and have a little bit less dead time in them. But there is also one other mechanic, which I'm not sure is a bug or actually meant to be the case. I think it is meant to be the case. So if these player caps are met, the actual shrinking time of the zones has not been changed at all. However, if the player cap is met for the 10th zone, which is two players, then this is actually going to be the final moving zone. As you can see here, I uh, also didn't prepare for this and had no materials and died in this hill, but it moves incredibly quickly, as you can tell. And this is potentially because this zone is bugged, so we may see a change to this later on. I have reported this, but it is important to note that your games can end in the 10th zone rather than in the 12th if there's not that many players alive. Now, I've seen that the pro players are slightly concerned that if you get into a bad first lobby in a tournament, your game will die faster, meaning there's a higher chance of you being able to get another match played against low elo players. And there's a theory that this means that players starting late can drop high elimination games two in a row and catch up much quicker if they're far behind, meaning that starting late in a tournament would become the meta. But in all honesty, I don't really think these zones change that at all. If you notice, the player cap thresholds are very low. For example, for the game to end early, as we mentioned, is the 10th zone has to have two or less people. And I mean, less means the game's already over. So it needs to be a 1v1 going into the 10th zone, the second moving zone. Now, if there's only two players left remaining at this point in the game, the game isn't going to end because the zone's fully closed, most likely. It's going to end when you have pro players W keying lower level players and beating them in a fight almost instantly. And this would happen regardless of the zone changes or not. So just theoretically, I don't believe that this is going to impact competitive almost at all. What it does seem to impact is if you're playing arena pubs or zero build pubs, as I mentioned, those more dead games are going to speed up a little bit and it takes about five minutes off of these types of matches if there's not that many players alive, meaning it's going to be a much faster pace and hopefully more enjoyable. If you want to learn more about the zones, you can click this video on screen right now or you can see why it's so hard to fight Mr. Savage. Like and subscribe. Peace.